It's a self myofascial release uh, warm up drill. Um, we're going to be using two tennis balls taped up. I'm going to show you the difference or how to how to make that happen. Um, you can also use this as a recovery drill. So this video is going to be both part of the warm up and the recovery series. Um, one word of caution when you go to build yourself a set of these, okay? Don't buy cheap tennis balls. Go buy hard court tennis balls, okay? Um, the reason why is because if you're going to be using this every day or every couple days if your wife or husband gets a hold of it, trust me, you're never going to see it again because it's basically free massage at the price of $2, okay? Um, so you're going to take two tennis balls, you're going to take some packing tape, you're going to tape them up, and what you're trying to do, so let me chuck this away, what you're trying to do is create a little bit of a groove. Okay, so don't just go crazy taping them up and whatever else. You need to get them fairly tight, make sure there's a groove. Now the reason why is we're going to be going at the thoracic spine or the upper back, okay, as far as the warm-up goes. You can go into lower back, but you've got to be very gentle and you got to know what you're doing. If you're not comfortable with that, don't be doing it. Go see a chiropractor or somebody else that can show you how to do it properly. So the reason for the divot is that's where my vertebrae or my spine is going to go. Now there are columns of muscles that run beside the spine, okay, that help stabilize it. And it's those that if they're wound up and have too many trigger points in it, can leave me hunched over, can leave me crooked. Um, most guys, when we have back pain, we don't have back pain on both sides. We have it more on one side, right? And that's because sometimes the tissue that runs or the muscles that run beside the column of the spine uh, or hip issues, we lose mobility, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take this into the mid-back. I'm going to start here. Again, the ball should never end up on the spine. Okay, it's a bit back between the balls. Now I'm going to start down on the ground. I'm going to place the balls. Now before I go and do anything, I'm just going to lay here. I'm just going to relax. I'm going to breathe. Um, getting the arms crossed across the chest will get the shoulder blades or the scapula out of the way. Because the, again, I don't want to be rolling these tennis balls over bone. Generally speaking, uh, guys especially, but we have big knots between our shoulder blades. Okay? It can be the rhomboid muscle, it can be mid trap, or whatever. So I need my shoulder blades out of the way if I'm going to be able to dig at them properly. Okay? So from here I've got a few options, uh, and everybody's different. Some of us like to just lift our hips, and I'm rolling in two inch you know, spaces. Again, I'm just breathing and relaxed. Some people prefer to crunch into the ball. Okay? putting pressure as if somebody was digging their thumbs into your back, that feels good too. You can do both, just never too hard. You have to understand, you have organs like the kidneys that are on the back, at the bottom of the ribs, so be a little bit careful with what you're doing. Now I'm gonna lift up, place this ball a couple inches higher, a couple vertebrae higher. Now I'm into my mid-back, and from here again, I'm just gonna breathe, I can open. Okay, now as a warm-up drill, I'm concerned more with mobility and trying to get my spine, especially the thoracic spine, open. Okay, now I can either start sliding down. Again, my shoulder blades are crossed, I'm out of the way. If that's too much pressure, use your elbows to take some of it off. Okay, again, don't be a hero. Don't try to torture yourself with this. If you can't relax, it's useless. I can handle that pressure. Not everybody can. Okay. Every once in a while, I'll get an adjustment out of my spine if my spine was in a place. Okay. Um, don't freak out by that as long as it's not painful. Okay. If I end up at a knot in my back, which I have right now in the middle of the back, I'm just going to try to relax or take some of that pressure off and breathe. It's about mid-back, okay? For ladies, the bra strap area, you know, a couple inches above or below it, where you're gonna feel the most amount of tension. For guys, usually the top of their shoulder blade, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit higher than that. So now I'm working at the top of that shoulder blade. I can go on and off the ball a little bit, okay? Again, I'm just scanning for those areas that are tight. Now, once I get into my traps, okay, my upper traps, you need to be a little bit careful. You are working around the neck, okay? By all means, don't be lifting your whole body trying to dig at your neck. That's just not smart. Okay, I'm gonna a little bit of rolling again. I still have my shoulder blades out of the way. Okay, 
Now, if you want to go into the neck, it's at your own discretion, okay? Just be uber, uber careful. Number one, do not put any weight onto the balls. Now, what I mean by that is my upper back is completely relaxed, my head is relaxed. I'm going to slip these under here, and I'm going to bring my head back down. Now, I may just roll side to side to mobilize the neck, okay? I may slide down an inch or just chin, okay? I have no real weight on the balls, but yet it still feels good to massage a little bit. Do not put weight on the balls when it comes to your neck. Traps, this is interesting. Some people, they get tension up in the traps, okay? So instead of the spine being here and the balls being in the middle, what I can do is turn this a little bit so that it's on just one side. Again, I need the shoulder blade out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna be here. So this is more of the recovery side of things. You don't be spending, you know, insane amounts of time doing your warm up. And I'm just gonna rock back and forth. This is between my spine and my scapular and my shoulder blade, and I'm just breathing. If I find a knot, I'm just relaxed. Okay, I can mobilize that a little bit, moving it around. I can go up and down. It's a good idea once you're on a trigger point to move it around. Okay, and then I would go to the other side and try to even it out if I had tension. When you learn how to use the two tennis balls properly, you are going to love it. I am on this thing every day. Um, most of my clients are. Uh, but you're dealing with the back, you're dealing with precious tissues, you're dealing with the spine, you're dealing with nerves. So anything hurts, get off of it immediately. When in doubt, put less pressure, okay? Find hardcore tennis balls. They will last you a lot longer. Otherwise, you're going to be burning out. Check the pressure on your tennis balls every once in a while because when they flatten out, they're pretty much useless. Okay, go check out the rest of the uh, SMR warm-up or recovery pieces in this series. Thanks.